for more than 150 million years, dinosaurs ruled the Earth until quite suddenly, around 65 million years ago, their reign was ended forever. There are countless theories about the agent of such destruction, from caterpillars eating all the plants, leaving nothing for the herbivores, to a sudden decrease in sexual activity, meaning no dinosaur babies were born, and even the detonation of a nearby supernova emitting deadly radiation across the globe. Although some of the evidence in the rocks points to long-term environmental changes, like vast global volcanic eruptions that contributed to their decline, most of us will have heard that it was a sudden asteroid impact that finished them off. But just how could that be? How could a simple rock from space obliterate some of the most successful animals our planet has ever seen? Travelling 20 times faster than a bullet, a chunk of rock more than twice the size of Mount Everest smashed into the coast of Mexico, leaving behind a crater 150 kilometres wide and more than 30 kilometres deep spreading a layer of asteroid-rich debris all over the world. The collision itself would have released a billion times more energy than released by World War II atomic bombs, and the shockwave would have obliterated everything in its path. Fires would have been started across the Americas as a molten rock rained from the sky and vast tsunamis swamped coastal areas worldwide. These immediate effects would have been catastrophic on a scale the Earth has never seen since. But the real killer was what happened in the months, years and millennia afterwards. The ash, dust and gases like sulphur dioxide that were thrown into the atmosphere blocked out the sun, causing freezing temperatures for years afterwards. With drastically reduced sunlight, plants couldn't photosynthesize, so they died in their masses. With no food, the herbivores soon followed, and the carnivores that relied on the plant eaters also went hungry and died. Meanwhile, the sulphur dioxide dissolved into rainwater, which turned the oceans inhospitably acidic. At the peak of their dominance, at least 2,000 species of dinosaur roamed the Earth with a wide range of shapes, sizes and lifestyles. But within as little as 10,000 years, a geological blink of the eye, they had all but disappeared in a catastrophic mass extinction, along with three quarters of all life on Earth. Dinosaurs were in good company as ammonites, giant marine reptiles and 90% of mammals of the time met their end together. Smaller mammals and cold-blooded reptiles needed less food, so were more likely to make it through the long winter. And a chance adaptation to eating seeds before the impact was a stroke of luck for a few dinosaurs. With plants and meat suddenly gone, seeds would have been a more lasting food source, and a small group of dinosaurs with beaks were among the few that could eat them. That group made it through the toughest of times and diversified once they had the chance to become the modern dinosaurs that walk among us today. We know them as birds. If you enjoyed this impactful dinosaur video, be sure to check out our other big dino questions. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Earth Unplugged.